Hello everyone! Today is our very last staycation Bible school. Can you believe it's here? I can't believe it. I've had so much fun. It has been so exciting as we've gone through the different ways that you can grow closer to God and ways that we can grow our relationship. I mean, this year we have learned about that it's so important to focus on God and we can focus on the things that we see in God's creation and, and then we can start to understand some of the things we can not see about who God is with his awesomeness as creator of the universe. And then we've talked about how we can hear from God by reading the Bible. And then we also, we can talk with others and talk with them about what we know and what we don't know, ask questions. We can have great conversation and get to understand more about God that way. And then we also talked about how it's so important to focus on God and have that time of praying and that we can pray anytime, anywhere, about absolutely anything with the Creator, with our God, that He's always there and He wants to talk with us. Well, today, we heard about how we can live for God by loving others. And in fact, Jesus made it really clear that if we love God, it'll be obvious in the way we treat others. And we saw in Matthew that there was a time when a member of a group called the Pharisees came and he asked Jesus a super big question. I mean, big question. And when he asked this question, he, he wasn't really really wondering. He was just kind of trying to put Jesus to the test. He was trying to see if Jesus might say something that will get him in trouble. But of course, Jesus knows all. And we see in Matthew 22, 36, the question the Pharisee asks is, Teacher, what is the most important commandment in the law? And Jesus had an answer and it was so clear and he knew exactly what it was. And it was love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. Love him with all of your mind. This is the first and the most important commandment. And the second is this, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So then the question is like, how do you love your neighbor as you love yourself? Well, the great news and the, the really good news about all of this is that God has already made the first move. I mean, he already showed us his love when he sent Jesus down on this earth to save us from our sins and to fix that relationship with him when Jesus was our Jesus became our savior. And then Jesus made it so clear, so clear that what we can do is we can love others the way God has loved us. So we can focus on what Jesus did for us and then we can choose to show love to others and people of all the people around us let's take some time now and let's pray and ask God to help us live for him would you join me God thank you so much for showing us the very best example of love thank you for sending Jesus to be our Savior Thank you for being so patient and kind for us and never, ever giving up on us, Lord. Please help us, show us how we can live for you by loving others. Help us to focus on your amazing love. And then give us the courage to put love in action and to show others your love through our own love. We love you, and we ask all these things in your name. Amen. Well, friends, you have made it. It is the fifth and final family challenge. And as always, we are going to start with our, for our family focus key question here. And that is, how do you focus on others? This, discuss it with your family and maybe there's some way that you do missions. Do you, do you support missions in some way? Or maybe it's how you treat others. I mean, a time like this, maybe showing love to your brother or sister is a big act of love, right? 
Well, I want you guys to talk about that. And if there's something that you can do now, even during this time when we have to be careful about safety of others, I really want to encourage you as a family to go out and do that. And for your family fun activity, it is family fun night. That is definitely a way to show your love to your family, right? Spend some time with each other. So I have a couple suggestions for you. Grab a bag of popcorn, pick out a great family movie, and spend time laughing together and enjoying your time together. Or maybe grab a board game. Whatever it is, spend time together. Or my family's choice of the night is going to be a glow party. Take some glow sticks. Stick them on your body and all your arms and legs, maybe even on your face. You can tape them right on there. Turn out the lights and have a dance party. But promise me, if you have a glow party, you have to record it and share it with us. Which brings me to my final reminder. If you haven't already, go ahead and join the Fam Bethel Kids Family Facebook group and share that with us. We'd love to see your family dancing around in the dark like glow stick men. All right, guys. That is it. I hope you've had a wonderful time with us this year, and I can't wait to see you next time, hopefully in the church, <laughs> so we can have another wonderful celebration and we learn more about our relationship with God, more about God, and grow to love Him even more. Have a good night. Bye-bye.